Away we go for Heat 1 in the third round and breaking quite well in the middle of the pack was Neat Kelly in three, but up with the pace there, Liffey Mills and six, Liffey Mills goes on. So as they head round the second bend, tap two moves right off Donut Dolly across the field, but that's racing in second at the moment as they head down the far side then. Six, Liffey Mills in front from Donut Dolly, just right, Melody getting on the inside of that one after this. Uh, gap back to trap one, net return improving as they come round the final bend. And six, Liffey Mills, he's about two legs clear from just right, Melody is closing up towards the line. Liffey Mills from just right, Melody is close, but Liffey Mills from just hangs on from just right melody and qualifying in third was trap one net return for heat two and racing up towards the first bend trap one flag field tico away well ahead of trap four racing in second that's whiting but a bit of bother around that first bend and trap three pen miss suffered the worst as they head down the far side one flag field tico ahead of six penar balligate after he's got five head october here surely in two got a lot to do will qualify but uh, won't win this one surely flag field tico by five lengths over six penar balligate then comes here surely as they come up towards winning line it's going to be flag field tico is going to win penar balligate is going to cross the line in second and a rather Disappointing the performance there from Trap 2. Here's Shawnee, the odds on favourite. Racing up towards the first bend, trap two, hard column flash away well and just showing great pace to the bend ahead of Active Moon in one half. This we've got to trap four, that was Temple Wood who was sent sideways and cannoned into Little Cougar. So as they go down the far side, it's hard column flash leading, Papua racing in second and after these improving again comes Active Moon racing just into third as they go around the second last bend. Eight lengths is the difference there between hard column flash and the chasing bunch who are headed by Papua but up towards wind line, it's all about hard column flash. This is impressive, hard column flash wins it by a street in the end. From Papua who holds active moon for second. for heat four and running up towards the first bend trap four lively treasure first the merge to the first bend already three limbs clear as the others are bunch up for second bit of bumping there and one hour dog henry goes into second after he's got six on the bounce five seem to suffer air flyer at the first bend and that's towards the rear so as they head down the far side it's four lively treasure in front by a good four lengths over one hour dog henry after these come six then that's on the bounce as they come around the final bend it's going to be lively treasure who's going to win this one by about three lengths i'd imagine lively treasure wins it one hour dog henry Henry was second, back in third was Gold Park qualifying, and I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to Air Flyer. They're running and racing up towards the first bend. Shanaway gold out like a flash into that first bend, but being pressed already by trap two. Eddie's venture. A gap back to four. Summerhill Joy at the back there is six. Ringview gold as they head down the far side. Shanaway gold's been badly hampered, finds itself at the back of the pack now, but up front it's Eddie's venture. And she's about three limbs clear at the moment from Summerhill Joy, bearing down in second. After there's a gap back to the rest who are headed by uh, trap five. That's Scott Air Vulcan as they come around the final bend. And Eddie's venture, she's still holding the challenge of Summerhill Joy. And Eddie's venture is going to last home here from Summerhill. Hill Joy in second and uh, qualifying in third is tip the trip.
Away we go for Heat 6 and racing up towards the first bend. Trap 2, Dean Side Joe traps quite well, along with four heads or star. But as they go into the first bend, Dean Side Joe finds a bit of problems there as they head down the far side. Strauss on the inside then of heads or star. After this comes one Long Valley Manor making a move. Two Dean Side Joe also looking for a move. The beginning of the bunch up at the third bend as they go around there. Heads or star. Oh, all sorts of problems. Dean Side Joe cannoned uh, right into the back of Long Valley Manor at the back of the pack now. As they come up towards the winning line, it's going to be heads or star going to win this one. Scrap on for second. Hillview Hike just for me very close for third between just handy and long valley manor i'll leave the third spot to the judge Now we're racing and running up towards the first bend, and as expected, Pearl's girl gets a flyer. She's already three lengths clear here from four. Mustang Joe in second. Bit of bother in behind. Trap three, Moaning Lad didn't get a clear run, but finds itself in third spot as they head down the far side then. Pearl's girl, she's got a length and a half lead over Mustang Joe, who's going to go for a gap on the inside. Mu uh, Pearl's girl just closes the door on Mustang Joe. The cheers go up for the local darling. Pearl's girl in front from Mustang Joe, but look at Moaning Lad putting it down now as they come up towards the line. It's Pearl's girl. Here comes Moaning Lad, Moaning Lad, and Pearls girl cross the line together. Mustang Joe qualifies in third. And we're racing and running up towards the first bend then in heat eight of the third round the heats of the daily mirror sporting life greyhound derby and westmead merlin moves majestically into the lead there from trap four glass kenny echo in second there comes six curry hills fancy after this we've got one caro star but down the far side there's only going to be one winner here and westmead merlin really stamping his authority in this race gone about eight lengths clear from six curry hills fancy taking second back in third is glass kenny echo but there's only going to be one winner and a facile victory for westmead merlin that's impressive from westmead merlin Curry Hills Fancy crossed the line in second and Glass Kenny Echo qualifies tonight in third spot. What a brilliant performance that was from Westmead Merlin there in that last heat on that Saturday night. 28-22 the winning time.